Hi you guys. I just woke up from a nap and I'm gonna go back to sleep after I'm done. As you can tell, I'm not really energized to do anything because this morning I woke up and my doctor called me. Well, the nurse practitioner. And I usually don't like to post bad news on our channel because I'm a firm believer that you never know who has evil eye and more than likely had it while watching our videos of us being pregnant or seeing pictures on social media of me being pregnant. So I don't want to post this, but I figured that if anybody else is pregnant and they're dealing with this, then they'll know how to cope with it. And the last disclaimer I'll say is that I already cried my eyes out to my mom, my sister, and Nathaniel. But basically, the doctor called and I have an autoimmune disease. I tested positive for ANA, and ANA stands for anti-nuclear antibody, and my mom ended up calling the doctor's office with me, and we spoke to the nurse practitioner, and we asked her, what does this mean, and because the first thing I did was look it up on Google, and looking it up on Google was the worst thing. And what I advise pregnant women to do, or anybody in general for that matter, if you have what seems like bad news, don't look it up on Google. Ask your doctor right then and there what it is. And I learned that the hard way. Because Google said how I'd be dealing with like pregnancy loss. And I honestly thought I was going to lose my baby. But since I will be 18 weeks this Saturday, then I'm too far along to miscarry. And my sister told me that autoimmune means that your system is attacking itself. So I have to stop by the doctor's office to get a slip to go to a lab for. And I'm really nervous. I don't know what caused this, but I'm praying that everything is okay. And I'll bring you guys along with me tomorrow when I go to pick up the slip. Good morning, you guys. So just got all my blood drawn and oh my god the lady did such a phenomenal job drawing my blood i didn't even feel it like how i feel it at my regular doctor's office but um yeah i'm praying that it's gonna be a false positive fingers crossed i'm gonna keep my eye on my phone the whole entire day to make sure that i get a call regarding it sexy. and oh my gosh you guys he has the man flu but um <laughs> um what was i saying oh yeah there was a toddler in there you guys and she was literally screaming bloody murder and the lady that was drawing my blood she actually had to like hold before she drew my blood she had to like hold down the little girl because she was screaming so when she came back in the room she was a little bit flustered and she was like oh my god i had to hold her down because she was biting us kicking us and she even said that the little girl was twisting the needle and everything and i'm just like oh my god i was like she better get ice cream or something afterwards to like but at the same time i don't even know if she should get ice cream or not 
I'm just praying that our baby will be just like me when it comes to shots where my mom said I just watched the needles go in but she said that my sister she's like kick and scream and the doctors had to hold her down so yeah we're gonna listen to music while he takes me home because he has to go to work so I'll see you guys when I get home the gender balloon is in the background so I'm trying to like find good lighting alrighty so my mom called me while I was taking a nap and she told me that the autoimmune disease more than likely is my eczema and I don't know why nobody thought of that when I told them that I have tested positive for the anti-nuclear antibody and I'm pretty sure when I did start going to this OBGYN I um I did write down like I have eczema, but I'm not entirely 105% sure. So I messaged my friend that works at the OBGYN place and I told her that I have eczema. So that's probably what it is. And hopefully it is that, or hopefully the ANA is like a false positive. Mm. I just got ready and everything. I thought I was going to be doing Instacart with my brother, but, um, he got a call, he got a call saying that he has to work today, so, I got ready for nothing, but I needed it, but yeah, so now I'm bored in the house, and I'm in the house bored, <laughs> but there's only today and a wake up and you guys will know the gender i'm currently watching odd vice podcast and it's with kristen mcatee and alex and i love them so much i literally been binge watching their whole entire podcast and i'm eating an apple i don't know if i said that i think i said it i ate a peanut butter sandwich now i'm eating an apple and then later I'm gonna eat the spaghetti that I made last night and yeah I'm so freaking bored I want to get out the house so bad but I literally have no friends I'm probably just gonna hit up my best friend and be like hey what you doing let's do something but yeah I'm hoping that we could do something I'm just so tired Mentally, physically, emotionally, but I'm gonna thug through it. I'm gonna charge my phone and just be in bed all day. And yeah. So, I'm excited for you guys to find out the gender. I'm tired of hiding that balloon in the back. But I'll see you guys another day probably won't see me until like tomorrow or something I don't know but I'm gonna upload the video of Nathaniel opening his Christmas gifts and then I'll upload this video tomorrow or the next day and then the gender will be the video after the next so stay tuned um I was gonna wait to post this vlog until I get my results back but I know it might take some time so I'll just let you guys know the results when they come back and yeah if you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed seeing me in my misery please give this video a huge thumbs up also subscribe and hit the bell icon so you guys can get notified every single time we post a new video I love you guys so much and thank you for supporting us on this journey. Bye.